Hi guys, today we'll be making two sets of earrings. One is African Argana inspired and the other is Galaxy earrings. Let's get started. So the colors that we will be using will be pink, purple, blue, black, and turquoise, and not to mention white that is not pictured here. Okay guys, we're gonna start out with the base coat, which is the black, and we're gonna paint all the pieces black. Because we have four pieces um, here, we're gonna do those because we're gonna have two sets of earrings for this video. So all pieces will be painted black. We're gonna allow it to dry, and then we're gonna go in for a second coat. So here we are, we're about to add our galaxy colors. I like to start with the darker colors first and work my way up to the lighter colors, leaving the pearlescent white last. I found that using a Q-tip instead of a brush actually works better and even my finger um, gave it the look that I was trying to create. So a Q-tip or your finger is good. Brush, not so good. Here I am adding more black because I kind of like overdid it with the um, other colors. So I want to kind of balance it out to give it a more darker appearance in certain areas to kind of like, you know, give it that galaxy feel. So if you go over, if you overdo it with the paint, just go and um, add some more black. Not too much, but you know, just enough. And yes, my camera did do something strange, but I'm going to leave it like this for a second because it just shows how pretty those colors are. But trust me, it will fade back in in a minute. So we're going to allow it to dry for about two to three minutes and then we're going to start adding our pearlescent white. Um, for this, I use my finger, but another method you could use is dipping your brush, wetting your brush a little and dipping it in white paint and making specks by flicking it with your finger. However, I just did this method for the purpose of the video. It's optional after we allow it to dry we um, will add some bling if you like what I'm doing here is I actually just had a uh, old nail polish brush and I use um, it to brush on some adhesive so that the rhinestones would stick and now I'm just adding rhinestones
So now, guys, we are actually going to um, create our ear wire, well, our ear hook, so that we can put our ear ring onto our hook. And as you can see, I just use colored wire and I use the brush to create the loop. As you see here. And attach it to my earring. To the wood piece rather and this is totally optional as well but I chose this way you can actually create your own hole so that you don't have to do this step if you don't have wire or you don't have that or you can just use larger jump rings I decided to add a little bit more bling to the earring and then after I'm done with that then I will be attaching the fish hook and then we'll be done with this design. guys so we're gonna go into our second design our inspiration comes from the flag of Ghana so we would need red yellow black green paint and also the ringlets and chain as you can see here I am painting all the ringlets in those different colors once you have allowed the paint to dry then you will go on to adding your chain you connect each chain to each of your ringlets. For the top ringlet, you will add the chain and also add the ear hook to it as well. As you can see, I'm kind of having second thoughts about this long chain. I feel like it should be shorter, but I will alter it in the end of the video. But for now, just for video purposes and demonstration, we'll leave it. Here I am just uh, eliminating some of this extra chain. You can leave it on and probably put a charm or something there. 
that would be cute too but for my taste i just kind of left it kind of plain In the end, I did do a little bit of alterations because of the chain lengths that I saw that I did not want to, them to hang a certain way. So I did alter it a little bit in the end, which you will see in a minute. But it is totally up to you how you design your chain. So here's the final product. So thank you guys for visiting my channel. I had so much fun creating these earrings and hopefully I will be creating more in the future. I know I haven't been on YouTube very often, but hopefully that will change. But until then, much love and have a blessed one. Bye.